Let's speak to Paul Dong, a sports commentator and the CEO of EI Asia. Paul, thank you for joining us. Now, we just heard from our reporter that this incident has been traumatic for many uh, runners. Do you think this will have an impact on uh, cross-country races, especially in rural areas in the future? Well, as you just mentioned, that there is an emergency meeting now underway this evening, Beijing time, called for by the, uh, the General Administration of Sports or China Sports Ministry among provincial level sports administrators on the very topic of events uh, safety uh, and safety management. I think it's sending already a very strong message. And earlier, I mean, before this meeting was called uh, on an, um, a, a running event in Zhejiang province in eastern China had been canceled because of bad weather. So I think based on what's going on now and past record or our understanding about the style, how China's uh, sports authorities would deal with such fatal accidents or incidents in sporting outdoor sporting events, very probably so. Yes, the sports authorities would give a very abrupt put an end to all ongoing or being, you know, scheduled events supposed to take place imminently. I think that it will happen and it will very, very slowly to come back to the agenda of reevaluating the situation, how organizers are better prepared based on you know such traumatic events and the experience and how detailed they have been, they are becoming to make sure that uh, most of the chances of repeating repeated uh, incidents or accidents will take place. I, I think it will happen based on our you know understanding of the way Chinese sports authorities would usually deal with such incidents. Now, you mentioned uh, reevaluating, which is a very good point. Now, clearly, we can't predict extreme weather in such uh, cases. So, what can organizers and participants do to prevent uh, such tragedies? Yes, I, th I think it's very important for us. We discussed about this before, but not against the backdrop of such a traumatic and tragic event. I think it's, it's the, the moment now, it's time for us to point out exactly what's going on and what has been going on in Chinese outdoor sports over the last decade or a few years. I think China or local governments like a cohort and with another one, those increasingly individual minded uh, Chinese citizens uh, looking for transitions in their own, you know, pursuit. Different model, different format of boosting local economy, attracting investment, attracting consumption from other areas into, you know, their own provinces or regions. For the individuals, they need exciting events to promote their individual, uh, individual, uh, individualism by practicing sports. And these two cohorts, they rely on one another to embrace modern sports events like marathon, like cross country extreme sports. And they do serve these two cohorts and other you know, interest groups to, to create greater chances and also advance the cultural development in China. This is very positive uh, you know, phenomenon. But at the same time, despite the fact that Beijing has already successfully hosted the uh, Olympic Games, Summer Games uh, in 2008, are now poised to put together the Winter Games. But that doesn't mean that such booming demand for very, you know, highly demanding, uh, very high criteria caliber international events have already had in hand the, the very experienced and professional teams managing them because hundreds of such events are emerging in China almost everywhere with the outdoor you know, natural resources to put together such events. But that doesn't mean the managerial 
uh, human resources, technical resources, and very importantly, the cultural readiness to make sure that such events are being organized up to international level. I'm really not sure about that. I think take buy-in, this buy-in event, the so-called uh, Yellow River Forest, the Stone Cross Country Mountain Marathon, I think it has, over the last few years, has already exhausted their luck of you know, being lucky without hit by this residual climate or natural risk from yeah. being taken place there for, for a few years. So this is quite like a last straw that you run out of your luck. And it would happen anyway, because the weather is quite commonplace like this in this uh, time of the year. And the organizers are obviously not very, you know, proactively or reactively trained and prepared. They, they were caught uh, as, as a shock. Yeah. So I think for sports authorities and local governments, now it's time to raise the level of gauging and approving such events from taking place, quite like the Olympic criteria. Paul, I think thank it's you. Really I mean, that's a lot to, to think up. about. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Clearly a lot of uh, to take note uh, from what thank you said. You. Paul, thank you for coming on the show and your perspectives.